Florence Motor Speedway and uh, we took a week off so I apologize I didn't have anything to upload last week but today it's hot as hell this is probably the hottest race day that we've had all year and we are on the low grip low banked Florence Motor Speedway ready to go fast tonight you know we did pick up some things from the last time that we were here and pretty much Number one is that practice does not mean shit because we basically wasted $850 when we stickered up and did a mock run last time we were here. So we're not making that mistake today. We did buy tires, but we're just buying them for another track so we can use them in the future. But I'm excited. We are getting a little bit late of a start, but I drugged the nose off in the first practice, so that sucks, so we had to put that back together. But now we're getting ready for practice number two. They are taking the way that your practice time goes and they're reverting it for qualifying order. So uh, we'll see if we can put down a good time here. We were third in the first practice, but uh, you know, I, I just, I really, Enjoy racing here and we did get roughed up last time and it and actually came to find out that the person I kept calling a girl was actually a guy so we only have a few more minutes till we gotta get ready for practice number two but we'll catch up with y'all before qualifying to go and get yourself some heat. I haven't actually plugged my shirts in the past couple of videos, but we do have shirts. We have one like this, and then we have a Dominion one as well. Go get them, airdog.net. <laughs> show here because our transponder wasn't working so they hand timed us we actually ran a 68 till I believe it was a 75 either way it's the pole which is obviously good so I'm excited to get into the race it's only one 60 lap race tonight I'm not sure if we went over that earlier or not but it's not twins so it's another longer race and 60 laps here might be the equivalent to 200 in Dominion in uh, regards to the tire wear like I said before Dominion like I say every time I come here these are my favorite type of races so I'm excited to get into tonight. I'm, I'm really satisfied with the car. And also, like I said earlier, you know, we struggled a little bit in practice, but you can't really even hold practice to anything. Cause I feel like as long as you're not too far in, in one direction, uh, either loose or tight or, or something else, you've got a problem, then you're probably gonna be okay because you're not gonna run the car that hard in the race. And it just comes down to who can manage their tires better. We put on a clinic last weekend showing that we could do that, so I expect nothing less than to do it again tonight. So let's get into the race and have a good night. Definitely feels a million degrees cooler. I have a good feel on the track. Probably came to us in a positive way. Good luck, go get him, Doug. Thank you, let's have a good one, boys. Roll with them here, don't do that crazy. Roll with them, you ready? Great, great, great. Still there, still there at your door. Still there at your quarter. Clear, 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 clear. Right with you. by one and a half over to 51. Nice and smooth off the corner. Caution's out, somebody went off on the back strip. How about somebody's on fire down there? But I don't know for sure. Could be the worst place to catch a fire. As dry as it is, we'll have a whole fucking forest fire out here. Oh, 
appreciate having Kevin Parsons. Always a great time. Still out there. Our cars are going to get better, but just be patient, nice and smooth off the corner. Come back to lap 13. So you've got the same gap on the 5 as in front of you, and then uh, straight away to the 28. Back to lap 19. I mean, it does have potential to go green. I mean, I feel like that's the way he's running it, so it's up to you, dear. Really good. You keep doing what you're doing. Come back to lap 24. Back to halfway this time. Yep, close to the same behind you. Maybe a little less, but no pressure. The 28 is gaining ground in the third fucking groove. I mean, he is almost off the racetrack, and he is coming like a banshee. Like, close to half track. Third lane, he's got his right side splitting the fucking white line on both ends. His right sides are on the top white line at one and two. He's coming like fucking a banshee. Consider fucking trying it. Right side tires on the white line. Top white, the dotted line. And run it harder than that. You can run it a lot fucking harder than that. Way deeper in. Same down here. Carry some fucking speed in. I guess once he passes us here, next fucking lap from a half-track behind, you'll follow him. He is five car lengths deeper driving into that corner. He is two back from a half a track. Five car lengths deeper he's driving in. Okay, there you go. That was about his speed. Come on. There you go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Lap 43. He's still on the same straightaway as us. Don't give up, dude. Outside, still there, just barely still there. Clear, clear, clear. Get back up there. Still clear by three over the 28. We got time. Let's go get them. Still outside, still there, still there, still there. Clear. 28 straight off the track. That's our caution. All right, buddy. You're matching time like fucking every lap. You're in the same speed as that 51. That's where we need it. At least we got some time to learn before the caution came out. I was just trying to help you. You know you can do it. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how, what kind of pace you needed up there. That's all. Got a little too high there. Gets it high right here. Great, great, great. Good start. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on. Keep up there. Inside, he's inside. Drive it fucking hard down in here like you want to clear inside. Clear inside. Beautiful. Come on. He has nothing left. You and him. Come on. Let's get him the fuck out of the way. There's be some other cars getting under him right now. Come on. Tend to go up the line. Mover, the one's gonna be made on us. Come on. Two out back. That line in one and two is better than him. So we gotta figure out maybe that lower exit in three is better for you. Maybe try the bottom in three. That one and two is better than him like that. But three, I don't think so. Fucking try to buy me one. There's uh, four to go. They're still heavy racing out back, like in the back of the pack. Clear by five, six. Good job, dude.
favorite second place finisher, finished second again. I'm not contempt, I want to get better, but I look back on the race, I don't really think there's too much more I could have did. Matt just had a, a better car. He ran me really clean in the icebreaker earlier this year. Like hard, but clean. So I wanted to pay that same respect to him. I didn't want to just go and clean him out. Uh, you know, even though I want to win, obviously. He's one of them guys I'm going to be racing up front with for a while, so I don't want to uh, have any beef going into the next race. That was a wild race, but honestly, that race is kind of why I like racing here so much, because, you know, Ryan was running the third lane, and I never even thought about trying to move up that far, and uh, moved up, and it was actually way better for us. Still wasn't as good as the 51. You know, where else can you do that? If you run the third lane any other track, you're in the wall or in the marbles, and, you know, this track just provides a lot of unique racing, and the tire conservation is just a, a bonus, in my opinion. But we're going to be back at Dominion Raceway next weekend for a 150-lap race. I think it's another $10,000 to win that race, too. I'm not, I'm not completely sure yet, but it's another big race, so... Who knows, that might be the last time that I race at Dominion for the rest of the year, so if you're in the area, feel free to come out and show some love. Hopefully we can put on another good performance like we did last weekend. So like I said earlier in the video, get yourself some Air Doug shirt. Come on now, pay for this racing with me, huh? Go out to airdug.net and get you a shirt. I want to have hoodies and hats soon, so when that comes out, I'll let you know. But for now, just go get these shirts. They're really comfy. Mine's a little ripped because I bite my... I bite my stuff, so that's why. Yours won't do that. It's higher quality than mine if you don't chew on it. But I'm rambling. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Try to get the 6,000 subs soon, so be sure to subscribe as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.